quasi-Newton methods are methods used to either find zeros or local maxima and minima of functions, as an alternative to Newton's method. They can be used if the Jacobian or Hessian is unavailable or is too expensive to compute at every iteration. The full Newton's method requires the Jacobian in order to search for zeros, or the Hessian for finding extrema. Description of the method Search for zeros Newton's method to find zeros of a function of multiple variables is given by, whereas the left inverse of the Jacobian matrix of evaluated for, strictly, any method that replaces the exact Jacobian with an approximation is a quasi-Newton method. The chord method for instance is a simple example. The methods given below for optimization are other examples. Using methods developed to find extrema in order to find zeros is not always a good idea as the majority of the methods used to find extrema require that the matrix that is used is symmetrical. While this holds in the context of the search for extrema, it rarely holds when searching for zeros. Broyden's good method and Broyden's bad method are two methods commonly used to find extrema that can also be applied to find zeros. Other methods that can be used are the column updating method, the inverse column updating method, the quasi-Newton least squares method and the quasi-Newton inverse least squares method. More recently quasi-Newton methods have been applied to find the solution of multiple coupled systems of equations. They allow the solution to be found by solving each constituent system separately in a cyclic, iterative fashion until the solution of the global system is found. Search for extrema Noting that the search for a minimum or maximum of a single-valued function is nothing else than the search for the zeros of the gradient of that function. Quasi-Newton methods can be readily applied to find extrema of a function. In other words, if is the gradient of then searching for the zeros of the multi-valued function corresponds to the search for the extrema of the single-valued function, the Jacobian of now becomes the Hessian of. The main difference is that the Hessian matrix is a symmetrical matrix, unlike the Jacobian when searching for zeros. Most quasi-Newton methods used in optimization exploit this property. In optimization, quasi-Newton methods are algorithms for finding local maxima and minima of functions. Quasi-Newton methods are based on Newton's method to find the stationary point of a function, where the gradient is zero. Newton's method assumes that the function can be locally approximated as a quadratic in the region around the optimum, and uses the first and second derivatives to find the stationary point. In higher dimensions, Newton's method uses the gradient and the Hessian matrix of second derivatives of the function to be minimized. In quasi-Newton methods the Hessian matrix does not need to be computed. The Hessian is updated by analyzing successive gradient vectors instead. Quasi-Newton methods are a generalization of the secant method to find the root of the first derivative for multidimensional problems. In multiple dimensions the secant equation is underdetermined, and quasi-Newton methods differ in how they constrain the solution. Typically by adding a simple low-rank update of the current estimate of the Hessian. The first quasi-Newton algorithm was proposed by William C. Davidon, a physicist working at Argonne National Laboratory. He developed the first quasi-Newton algorithm in 1959. The DFP updating formula, which was later popularized by Fletcher and Powell in 1963, but is rarely used today. The most common quasi-Newton algorithms are currently the state root 1 formula, the BHHH method, the widespread BFGS method, and its low memory extension, LBFGS. The Broyden's class is a linear combination of the DFP and BFGS methods. The state root 1 formula does not guarantee the update matrix to maintain positive definiteness and can be used for indefinite problems. 
The Broidens method does not require the update matrix to be symmetric and it is used to find the root of a general system of equations by updating the Jacobian. One of the chief advantages of quasi-Newton methods over Newton's method is that the Hessian matrix does not need to be inverted. Newton's method, and its derivatives such as interior point methods, require the Hessian to be inverted, which is typically implemented by solving a system of linear equations and is often quite costly. In contrast, quasi-Newton methods usually generate an estimate of directly as in Newton's method, one uses a second-order approximation to find the minimum of a function, the Taylor series of around an iterated, whereas in setting this gradient to zero provides the Newton step. The Hessian approximation is chosen to satisfy which is called the secant equation. In more than one dimension is underdetermined. In one dimension, solving for and applying the Newton step with the updated value is equivalent to the secant method. The various quasi-Newton methods differ in the choice of the solution to the secant equation. Most methods seek a symmetric solution method and Greenstadt's method. Implementations Owing to their success, there are implementations of quasi-Newton methods in almost all programming languages. The NAG library contains several routines for minimizing or maximizing a function which use quasi-Newton algorithms. SIPI, Optimize has FMIN underscore BFGS. New Octave uses a form of BFGS in its FSOL function with trust region extensions. In MATLAB's optimization toolbox, the fminunc function uses the BFGS quasi-Newton method. Many of the constrained methods of the optimization toolbox use BFGS and the variant LBFGS. Many user-contributed quasi-Newton routines are available on MATLAB's file exchange. Mathematica includes quasi-Newton solvers. Ars Optum General Purpose Optimizer Routine uses the BFGS method by using method equals BFGS. In the SIPI extension to Python, the SIPI optimize minimize function includes, among other methods, a BFGS implementation.